if you were to ask me what caused that intelligence failure on October 7th, that catastrophic, colossal, disastrous uh, intelligence failure, you know what my answer would be? I know you're not going to, you'll, you'll think I'm being facetious. I'm absolutely not. I see young people. I see young people. Young people cannot last for 30 seconds without looking at their iPhones, mm -hmm. without being on their social media. I think those guys half the time are like this, because I see it with the young people. They're supposed to be doing intelligence, but they're in front of a computer. Well, what do you think they're doing if they're in front of a computer? Like this. The other side is not like that. I know. I've met them. I've met them. There is a determination, a tenacity, a focus that is, dare I say, terrifying. So when Kyle Levinson said, in fact, we're a very mediocre army, it's not the question of the technology. Obviously, they have a cutting-edge technology. Of that, there can be no doubt. They're no longer a fighting force. They're a murder force from the air. They can commit the side that follows absolutely correct. They're quite effective at committing massacres. But in the conventional sense of what it means to be an army, you know, combat, ground troops. No. And I don't fault them. You know, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not that kind of person. Would I want to give my life for a cause? I wish I find the strength if and when the moment of truth comes. But I cannot say I'm confident. But I met the people in Hezbollah, the fighters, because I toured the South once. Oh, no, there was no question. There was no question. That's why Israel never wants to tangle with the party of God. It's not a joke. So, um, the uh, Israelis now, I'm not happy to say it, I'm not gleeful, but they reveal to the world, uh, writ large, but to elements within the Arab world in particular, that a military option is available. <laughs>